A lot of the big environment debates today are still quite controversial. Whether you're talking about the use that we make of the land or air pollution or genetically modified food, a lot of these debates are still very complex. They're very difficult for scientists to deal with because there is such a high level of, of disagreement. Climate change is a particularly interesting area because the controversy was so intense that government set up a special body called the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. And its sole purpose was to advise governments about the science and the impact of climate change on societies. The science has become less and less controversial because the proof, the evidence, has become more and more certain. And there is now undeniable evidence of climate change already at work in the world today and clear signals that it's going to get a lot worse in the future. But the interesting thing is that eventually science settles around a consensus. That's how the scientific method works. And that's what's happened with climate change. Five years ago, let alone ten years ago, there was intense controversy around the science. Now the vast majority of the world's scientists have signed up to a consensus about climate change that politicians can now act on. And that's the way the scientific method actually works. It's what makes it possible for politicians to take responsible decisions.